Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new entire um, Happy Meal set of the Mario uh, Happy Meal toys from McDonald's. So I have all of them in this box right here. I had a hookup at McDonald's. I got all the um, all the figures, all the Happy Meal toys. Uh, so it's your standard Happy Meal box on this side and on this side as well. You can see you can enter a contest to win a uh, Nintendo Switch. And then on this side, on the back side, you get this uh, image of Mario along with like the Happy Meal box uh, dressed up as Mario right there. Up here you can see level up your Happy Meal with the goodness of apple slices. And then on this side you get just some random stuff, really not much. So let's go ahead and uh, get all the um, Happy Meal toys out. Dump them all out right here. There we are. Uh, so they're all in baggies, so I'm going to actually unbag them and then I'll show you guys all the Happy Meal toys. Alright you guys, and here are all the Happy Meal figures. Uh, and toys out of the packaging so I'm gonna just uh, go one by one each individually now they all come uh, just with this little insert that basically just tells you what each uh, action feature is on each one of them uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory honestly uh, so uh, let's just go ahead and we'll move all of them to the side and we'll start with Mario and work our way down all right so we have two versions of Mario here um, they're basically the same identical figure, but they have different paint jobs and different a action features. Uh, so we'll start with the regular Mario. Alright, and uh, this Mario is done, all these figures have a very shiny, glossy finish to them. Uh, but you got Mario here in this jumping pose right here, and he's a static figure, he's stuck in this pose. Now his action feature, on the bottom there's a switch, and there's a little button right here that activates his sound feature so what it's meant to do is every time you do this it makes the jumping noise just like he does in the game so that's kind of cool um great for kids who, who want to act like mario's running through the levels or whatever so that's really cool uh the paint on here and the detail is actually very nice for a happy meals toy there's actually a lot of paint probably more paint than you find in your normal uh toys i guess because there's no articulation or anything uh but yeah that is mario with his jumping action feature and now we have this variant of mario which is going to be hard to see because he's just clear put the background right here so we can see him better so he's just done in this clear white translucent plastic and he's the exact same as this mario right here uh so his action feature on the bottom which i really really like this it it's gonna look cool like with the lights off and everything so he glows different colors right there to represent the star power in the video game so that is very very cool i definitely like this mario right here so that is both mario action figures or happy meal toys let me turn these off and we'll move on to the luigi figure all right and here is the luigi happy meal toy now he comes with uh this yellow pipe right here that's hollow uh you can see right here it's got a little uh, clip that clips into the bottom of luigi because his action feature you slide him in there you press this little button right here on the back of the pipe and Luigi shoots out and he has wheels on the bottom of him so he rolls across so that's pretty cool and you can see Luigi here in his little diving pose which looks nice again that very very glossy finish but the details on here as far as the paint and everything the colors are nice bright and vibrant and done very very nice so I'm actually impressed these are my first like a happy meal toys since I've ever been collecting so I'm highly impressed with these so that is the Luigi figure now moving on to the peach figure now she really doesn't do much she's got wheels uh, well she's got one wheel right here here. and basically you, you just uh, roll roll back and it's not really rolling good on my uh, my setup right here but you pull back and then um, like this and she turns right here so uh, but for me she's really more of a display piece because she's got this like lenticular holographic background in the back I don't know if you guys can really see that too well on camera but you can see the mushroom appearing and reappearing uh, disappearing and reappearing I should say um, but yeah this just makes I like the display that you get with her so you got this nice grass base right here and again that glossy finish but like I said the details are very very good on this figure right there you can see that in the back oh uh, this is my first time seeing this the back you get uh, the mushroom the coins and the flag and the fire flower right there on the back uh, printed on so that's very very nice uh, so that is the peach figure all right moving on to the Yoshi figure this is uh, just a static figure and this is probably the least exciting action feature you press the shell on his back 
and his tongue just uh, retracts back and forth so I'm not too big of a fan but as a display piece actually this looks very very nice you can see him stuck in this pose it looks like he's supposed to be holding something because he has these holes in his hand but I think those are just the screw holes uh, but again nice paint on this nice bright vibrant colors again uh, so that is the Yoshi f uh, figure really like I said not much to him that's all he does so moving on, we have the villain, Bowser, and he comes with two uh, little flame projectile missiles right here. Uh, you stick them in his mouth, he's got a little button right there on the back, and you press that. And the missile goes flying, it's spring loaded and actually goes very very far, that flew off my table just now. But he does come with two of them just in case you lose them, so you just gotta uh, put this in his mouth, like so, and again, there it goes. Uh, so as far as the details on Bowser, again, Great paint, great, uh, you know, great everything really. I'm, like I said, I'm very impressed with the details on these figures and they're gonna look great on my Nintendo shelf so I can't wait to get them on there. Again, you got the hole in his mouth where you put the missiles. So looking very, very nice. And the spikes on the back aren't too sharp so you don't have to worry about, you know, your, your child or anything like stabbing themselves with these spikes. They're rounded off, I don't know if you guys can really see. They're rounded off so they're not sharp at all. So there is Bowser. Moving on to the final two figures, we have the Red Shell and the One Up Mushroom. Uh, so with the One Up Mushroom right here, uh, it's got that similar action feature to the first Mario uh, figure that I showed. So you turn it on, and then it's got this button here. And hmm, I think my battery is dying on this. It was working earlier, but now I don't know if you can hear that that buzzing noise. It sounds like the battery's dying or the speaker oh there we go okay so maybe the speaker's just going bad or the battery's dying but you just press that button on the bottom and you get that one up uh sound effect right there so we'll turn that off to not drain the battery and finally we have the red shell uh very very nice i didn't go over really the details on this mushroom but it's pretty simple uh very very nice right there so you can see that but uh back to the red shell uh, details on here as well are great and this action feature pretty self-explanatory it's got the wheels on the bottom you roll it back and it's not rolling too great because of uh, the cloth right here but again you pull it back and it takes off I'm sure it would roll faster on tiles and anything like that so that is all of the Happy Meal figures and I gotta say I'm really really impressed with these figures um, like this is my first time ever really owning Happy Meal toys since I was a kid you know um, ever since I've been collecting I haven't really got into any Happy Meal figures but I will say I am really really impressed with these figures and I cannot wait to add them to my Nintendo display like I mentioned earlier and uh, that's pretty much it so let me know what you guys think of these Happy Meal figures did any collectors uh, go out um, and try and get these figures themselves did you get these figures for your kids and how do you feel about these figures did you enjoy them let me know down in the comments below but that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe stay tuned for more share this video with your friends and as always i'll see you guys next time